Hello, 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 everybody. It's your girl, Dazzle That Tarot, and I'm back for another tarot reading. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload and when I go live. And if you would like to book a private reading, everything is going to be in the description box. Everything I say here is all alleged and for entertainment purposes only until modern science comes up with a mathematical equation that the metaphysical science is in fact a valid form of science and all tools of divination are actual factual tools of divination. Okay? So, let's have fun. So, we're going to talk about Fabio Foreign. So, Fabio Foreign had did this, like, interview at the barbershop, and it was asking him questions about certain people, and I kind of felt like it was interesting because they were, it sounded like questions that they worked on, like they've been wanting to ask, right? So, Fabio Foreign is a drill rapper. Um, he is cool with Nicki Minaj, and... So, um, Tory Lanez, right? Two people that he's cool with, right? So, and, you know, so they basically, in a nutshell, I think it was around the time that Nicki and Megan Thee Stallion was going back and forth with their little diss tracks. They did an interview with him, and they asked him about the Tory Lanez situation. And what he said was, if I'm verbatim, I think I may need to uh, look it up because I don't want to put words in his mouth, y'all. So let me go ahead and look. Fabio Foreign speaks on Tory Lanes. Yes. Somebody take from me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a lead. I, I, I missed that. Call. <laughs> I, 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 I already told y'all I fuck with Nicki, man. I already told y'all I fuck with Nicki. I don't know. I just can't. All right. This is this is what I'm saying, right? What? It's all of us. Nicki, first of all, she, I like her. She's a legend. She came from... Okay, he already said he messed with Nikki. In my eyes, I don't even know Tory for even having guns. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, I know him. Like, we done did music, we done chill, we done. You know what I'm saying? I know his personality. He, I don't see him as that type of person. And I'm, I wasn't there, and I'm not a lawyer or no scientist. Mm hmm. But if somebody said they got shot and there's no hole in a in a body, they didn't get shot. We all know that, right? Mm. But nah, this should go. How does it go? Well, I'm going. This is how it goes, right? Mm -hmm. The person who said you did it to me, usually, that says what it is. If 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 right now, one of these females in here, right, go. Outside and to the police, say yo, he hit me. You're gonna get locked up right now, uh, and they don't gotta prove it. That's a fact. Okay, so I hope y'all heard this, but basically he was saying that he know Tory for not having guns ever, and he know know him, and basically he's saying that if you don't, if you you know if you've been shot before, you have a hole. And, you know, but it is what it is, basically, right? So, my thing is what's very interesting is that I've been shot before. Yes, I do have a hole. I have an entrance wound and an exit wound, but I didn't have to have surgery. So, they let it heal from the inside out, right? So, I know what gunshots look like. It's different gunshots, different scars, I know, and me as an EMT, I used to be an EMT. I was also a CNA. I was also a home health aide. <laughs> and I was also in nursing school, right? We kind of know, like, all gunshot wounds don't look the same. You know, depending on what caliber it is, how you was hit, if it ricocheted, what the what, right? 
um, after the fact, if they need to um, do surgery, you probably won't have a hole. You'll probably have a big scar, you know, a big surgical incision if they need to put like a rod in your leg and all types of stuff like that. So gunshot wounds look different in different situations. So when it comes to Megan, the fact is, I don't care if it ricocheted, if it, you know, exploded on the ground. The minute that fragments of a bullet is found in any part of you, scientifically speaking, you've been shot. Okay, so to me, and then when he also says, oh, if a woman goes out and says that you hit him, that you hit her, you're going to get locked up immediately and they won't ask no questions. And the reason why I feel like he said that, because him himself had face essay allegations so now he views the system in that way of if someone just says you essay them you know you're going to get blamed for it no matter what right so it seems like that's his logic right but of course he's pro nikki and he's pro tory and i kind of feel like he's saying these things to keep spreading doubt about meg and the stallion story now, this is going to be a reading, right? But I also want to talk about the fact that, you know, it's already been proven about how people were paid and were promised things to push narratives. We already know that a lot of people online got their information from pro Tory and pro Megan Thee Stallion vloggers and vloggers, right? That was incentivized to push narratives and then you mix that up with conspiracy theories and then you just put rock nation and this that and the third and everything into it into the story it makes it look like megan's just this crazy messed up person right and people really believed a lot of the things that these people were saying and but if you pay close attention they were not accurate and then i told y'all a while ago how they were pushing one narrative and Tory Lanez told them another thing. And it's like, like y'all had to really watch this. So, and a lot of people were in their feelings and you know, you got gaslight words like she slept with her friend's best um, boyfriend and this, that, and the third. All types of crazy stuff, right? And then even to the point that you doubt what a gunshot wound would look like. People take it too literally. Technically, if, say for instance, somebody was shooting or something like that, maybe you got hit with a buckshot, whatever, you still got shot. <laughs> no matter how it looked, you got shot. So, I mean, I don't, that's, that's what it is. But I found that interesting, and then I found the interesting part when he started talking about Natalie Nunn, and he made sure to bring that up about her dealing with his homeboy, right? And her cheating on her husband. And this is the same person who had cheating allegations on him. I don't know if they were true or not, but my thing is when it comes to these men and talking about females, how come it's okay to point out if they're cheating and if they're a hoe, but when you cheat on your girl, it's not okay for your friends to come out and be like, or people that know you to come out and be like, you cheating on your girl with my friend and this, that, and the third, and you're this, that, and the third. It's not okay for them. You know, it's, it, it becomes like that. So I'm looking. And then I also feel like, you know, I find it funny that people just believed everything he said and not, Nat not what Natalie Nunn said, right? Cause she was talking about how his friend ended up working for him working for her on the road and stuff like that and i'm like well he might be a little whatever about that too so i think two things can be true at once i mean she could very well be cheating on her husband but you are salty that he ditched you and stopped working for her so i don't know but it makes me wonder, like, where are we getting our information from? And who are these people that we're getting our information from? So, it's like, 
it was going to be biased anyway. And if it's that bias, can we really say, and if it's actually de-victimizing Megan and giving doubt, is that really an honest conversation? It's not really honest to me. That's just me thinking, well, okay, well, you just want to say he didn't do it. And you like Nikki and Tori. And you don't know him to be violent. And yet we've seen him be violent. And yet. <laughs> so. Anywho. So let's see. Fabio Foreign. Does he really, really think Tory Lanez did something to Megan Thee Stallion? Does he know, matter of fact, does he know for a fact that he didn't do anything to Magnus Stallion? That he didn't shoot Magnus Stallion that night? That he didn't have the gun? Does he know for a fact that Tory Lanez did not have that gun? One, two, three. You know what? I don't like this. I don't like this. Why? Because the first thing I got was the two of swords in the reverse. The two of swords in the reverse, okay, is clarity to make a decision, but it's also sometimes you just going along with something. So it feels like that because it's right beside the seven of cups. So it's mostly like you're choosing to go along with confusion, okay, because of your ties to someone, your partnerships. Okay, so he is making a willful decision to go along with what the narrative is because of his dealings and his partnerships. So that means he does not know for a fact that Tory Lanez is not capable of doing this or doing that. And he does not know for a fact that he did not shoot Megan Thee Stallion, but it's a narrative of confusion. Now, I'm going to tell y'all. Media has become the pan, the agent of chaos itself. Because you have people who spin narratives and who are incentivized to do so. Because I've actually seen it. And we actually seen it for ourselves, but it's been pushed under the rug. So, because people don't want to hear that. Because a lot of times people don't want to hear it because they got to admit that's the shit they've been listening to. And they didn't think for themselves. They just came to these conclusions because of how people word things and give scenarios and give cases and do this and do that. It's, it's a lot of stuff that people do. And, you know, and I heard from Jaguar Wright herself say that it is very easy to fool the public. All you got to do is say what they want to hear. And, honestly... Y'all want to hear that it's a conspiracy. Y'all want to go into the con into the confusion. You, I mean, and I, and this is not me being biased. This is me just really realizing I've been, I've been looking at this, <laughs> and this is sad because I don't want that for Fabio. I don't like this for him, and he's only doing it because of what the six of wands in reverse. This is to make someone look bad. So, it can be that he feels like they're making his friends, his associates, look bad. Right? Or he wants to make Megan look bad. One or the other. Right? Because he makes money from these with these people. So, why would I say... Why would I talk shit about Nikki if we can make money together? Why would I talk shit about Tori? When we can make money together, but I can, you know. So, and I get more attention by feeding into the chaos or confusion of it all. Okay? That's what it is. Um, let's ask this. Who does, does he feel like Nicki Minaj won that rap battle? I'm just ask a straight question. Does Fabio Foreign really feel like Nicki Minaj won that rap battle? Between Megan Thee Stallion. Did he really like her diss song? One, two, three. 
it's a balance. He felt like they were even. He felt like they were even, and they made money. So, <laughs> so that was fair. Okay, so let's ask this. Why bring up the situation with Natalie now? First of all, is he telling the truth? One, two, three. Well, okay, it's more to it than just, he wants to make her look bad, okay? He wants to make her look bad, but see, here's the problem with him. He gets messed up, too, okay? Because you want to be, you want to present things to the world, but it's, it's two things with it. You look a little sassy telling female business but you trying to make her look bad too right also did she you got the empress in the reverse she could yes i believe she did it because the type of empress this is though um they can very well be promiscuous empress in the reverse they can very well be promiscuous and or the fact that he has an issue also with the female the females the, the feminine energy. He has an issue with feminine people, like females. So, to me, women. So, to me, it's like a little bit of both. She can be permitted. She can be out here. But also, he does have an issue with women. And I do think there's some deception going on here, too. So, I think both of them are lying about something or leaving something out okay and he wants to talk about what's behind the scenes right and he is technically you ever heard people tell the truth but not the whole truth i can tell you this part but i'm gonna leave out that part so i'm being truthful but i'm not telling you the whole truth so it's not really the truth it's not really the truth the whole truth is both what Natalie said in what he said. So it's half of both. So I believe both of them. Okay. So whatever Natalie said, she's telling the truth about that. But what she left out is she did probably have sex with that man. Okay. And with him, what he left out is he is kind of bitter that this woman who makes more money is trumping him. That's what that is. And to him, right here, this is him coming in hot with aggression. That's how I kind of feel. But I do feel like both of them are telling the truth, but they just both left out something. He left out what Natalie was saying, and Natalie left out what he was saying. So put both stories together, and that's the truth. <laughs> so, let's see. Fabio Foreign, did he really assault somebody? Did he really sexually assault somebody? One, two, three. Yeah, female. Something about a relationship. But it was something about a relationship. I don't know. Or someone he had dealings with. That two, that two of cups comes up. Be a relationship, partnership, whatever it is with these. But I do think she was over-invested in the coin. Now, I do think she was going to get his ass. But do I think it was something... Yes, but, so I think he got a little jaded by that. That's why he was talking like that at that barbershop interview. Okay, so it made him think that, you know, here's my thing. I don't necessarily think that, you know, I don't even want to call him a bad person. But I do think that experience and other experiences made him feel a way about the female human species <laughs> okay it made them feel away that's what i'm going to say about that and with megan i think he was being biased because of his connections okay and so he's choosing to go along with the confusion than to just be honest so that's what that is so that's what i got for fabio foreign y'all peace